Hi, this is Mary. I promised you that I would show you how to make rose water, and that is what we're going to do. I am extracting four to five roses from my rose bush. Please be very careful when you do that because you do not want to prick your finger. There are thorns on the roses, on the rose bush, so please be careful. Did you know the rose water softens and gives you a natural, gives your skin a natural glow? Rose water also, too, can be used as a natural coolant. It would, If you develop and have heat bubbles and develop leading to red rash, you can use rose water to treat your skin. Look at that beautiful rose next to that sky. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful bowl full of red roses. What you're going to need is two and a half cups of distilled water, a funnel, a strainer, a freezer bag, a spray bottle, and a bottle, and a wooden spoon. Right now, I am removing the rose petals, the rose petals from the rosebud. If a few seeds fall into the pan, it is okay because you're going to strain the rose water before you use it. Oop, a petal tried to fall. I had to place that back in there. I will take my wooden spoon and I will emerge the rose petals until the water. You want to set your heat to high to medium. Mine is at high. You can do medium if you want. And you want to boil the rose petals to a rapid boil. There's another petal is trying to get away. We need every petal. You want to bring this to a rapid boil. A rapid boil is when the when the bubbles are very large. Did you also know that rose water can prevent aging? Rose water keeps wrinkles and fine lines at bay. Thus, it prevents your skin from aging and revitalize your skin. Rose water also maintains a, a, a excellent pH balance for healthy and beautiful skin. And rose water also too, it helps fight skin related diseases. Rose water used on effectively a regular basis helps skin disease like eczema and dermatitis. It is also effective in fighting uh, acne and scars. Rose water also too is a beautiful moisturizer. You can use uh, rose water uh, it's an um, amazing moisturizer. It leaves your skin um, uh, very fresh. And it also, too, rose water also attracts excess oil on your skin. And if you use it as a moisturizer, because it's very good as a moisturizer, because some moisturizers leave uh, rashes and patchiness on your skin, rose water will not do that. Rose water, uh, it leaves your skin very uh, hydrated and it revitalize your skin. Right now, I am pressing the rose petals down and I'm showing you that the, uh, the rose water is coming to a rapid boil. That's what you want, a rapid boil. And as you notice, the rose petals are turning to a very pale pink and almost white. That is what you want. You want them to be pale pink or almost white. And I will press the rose petal on the side of the pot, bring the rose petals to the side of the pot so you can see the rapid boil. That is what you want. And also too, uh, rose water can be kept in a freezer for four to five weeks. Or if you put it just in a regular freeze box, freezer, I mean a regular cold box in the refrigerator, it will last from two to three weeks. After that, you want to get rid of your rose water if you keep it from two to three weeks in the cold box. In the freezer, it will last even longer, up to four to five weeks. After that, toss it and please make some more. Rose water also can be kept in your spray bottle, on your vanity, spray it on your face before you put your makeup on, and spray it on your face before you go to bed after you clean your face. Look at that beautiful rose water. And as you notice here in the pot, this is a rapid boil. Now we are ready to put it through um, a, a strainer. and remove all that and then you can get a spoon and you can smash the rose petal to get every bit of that rose water as you possibly can. And then you are going to take 
that bowl, place that bowl, either let it sit on the counter to get cool or you can place it in the freezer or the cool box where it can cool down. Get every bit of that rose water out of that pan, squeeze it, just squeeze and press those rose petals against the pan. Place that, leave it on the counter to cool or you can place it into the refrigerator to cool down. I placed mine in the freezer. Please keep your eye on it, not long now, and pour that in a measuring cup or another bowl through a strainer and a sifter to get all the seeds from the rosebud and place that into a spray bottle and remaining part into a freezer bag. And you want it, then you can, it's ready to be used in the spray bottle before you put your makeup on. It will help with the fine lines on your face, filling fine lines and also to reduce pores. It reduces pores on your face too. You can place that in the freezer. Please, ladies, this is Mary coming to you from Rancho Cucamonga. Please remember to get a mammogram because early detection will save your life, not might. It will save your life. Now you are ready for your rose water to be used. Have a very blessed day. Talk to you soon.